hi guys this is Courtney welcome back to my channel I am super excited because I am here today with my first Teddy B's pre-order haul this is not my first Teddy B's haul but this is the first Teddy B's pre-order that I have participated in I am super super excited about it um, let's just say that I had myself a good time <laughs> um, and part of that is because I had a gift card also to use and so I said hey this is the time to do it and so I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven tubs, two loaves, and I think one, two, three, four, and eight souffles. And I feel like I was very adventurous um, with some of the scents that I tried because we all know that Tiff is a master blender. And if there's ever someone that I am going to be adventurous as far as the blends go with, it is going to be her. So the first thing that came in my box is this lovely, very beautiful thank you card, which lists their Facebook information um as well as their website and basically all of the ways that you can get in touch with them and find out about upcoming pre-orders announcements etc and on the back it gives a little bit of information about um how to get the best experience out of your wax and that is what that looks like so now let's get into the samples i got four samples um so we'll start with one sample because it is the same and this is called dream state and this smells like a um, very relaxing, like lavender vanilla scent to me. Definitely something that Summer Michelle would probably love. <laughs> so that is Dream State. And then next I got Kiss Me Goodnight. And I don't know the scent notes for any of these. Ooh, this is really pretty. This is also to me like a calming, like nighttime, super relaxing type scent. Or I also think it would smell really good like in a bathroom. Mmm, it's really pretty though. I think it might have a little bit of lavender. Mmm, I smell almost like some sort of cashmere and vanilla. It's really pretty. Okay, next we have Witches Be Crazy for Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I am a fan of the Witches Be Crazy blend. Cupcakes at Tiffany's is cool, so let's see how they smell together. Ooh, <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's really, really good. It's like pumpkin pecan waffles drizzled in chocolate. <laughs> I really like that. Might have to be keep an uh, eye out for um, when that blend comes out. So I'm going to start with the souffles. Um, just because they're the smallest. So we're just going to go from smallest to largest. So the first souffle that I have here, sorry, is Harvest Cider and Birch. And this is Plum Dark Chut... Sorry, this is plum, dark cherries, vanilla birch, peppered woods, and warm pomegranate cider. Now, I love plum and uh, plum notes or plum scents. I love cherry scents. I don't know much about vanilla birch, and I definitely don't know much about um, peppered woods. And I'm also a fan of pomegranate. So, ooh, let's see how this smells. And this was poured on the 14th. I'm sorry, the 4th of October. Okay, so first off, this is very strong. <laughs> like to say that this is only a month old. So I get that peppered woods the most. Like I smell that right. It's right in the forefront when you open the bag. Boom, it's right here. So I think I can smell some of that. Um, of course, my husband's watch decides to go off and beep. It'll stop in a second. So let's just ignore that, guys. I smell some of the plum, a little bit of the cherry in the background, and maybe some of that pomegranate, but I think what I mainly get is the vanilla birch. I was going to see if I could pop it out, but you know what? Let me see if I rub it, if I get anything else. Those are the main notes that I get from this. This is nice though. I'm glad that I picked it up. This is definitely a scent that's out of my well house, but it still smells really beautiful. So we have that. Next we have Spooky Encounters. And this is sandalwood, smoked oud, spiced cherry, black raspberries, henna of patchouli, and blackberry cotton candy. This again is another interesting scent combination for me. Smoked oud, not something that I've ever really played around with. Sandalwood, eh, but again, the cherry, 
the cherry and the black raspberries and that blackberry cotton candy is what wrote me in. I'm also patchouli, eh, you know, let's see. Oh, this is a really pretty scent. So I get that spiced cherry, right? But I also get a little bit of that, that smoked oud. It's very pretty. It's definitely to me a little bit of a darker, more woodsy scent. But that spiced cherry and the um, the raspberries and that blackberry cotton candy really help to lighten it up and make it a little bit more playful. Mm, this is really pretty though. Really, really pretty. And this one was poured on the 10th of October. And let me just show you up close what it looks like. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. So I'm glad that I picked that up. Like I said, if I was going to take a chance on scents, it was gonna be with Teddy Bees. So the next one is Praline and Woods. And this is toasted pecans, praline candy, spiced white cake, blended with soft woods. And this one was poured on the 31st of October, so it is definitely freshly poured. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I get that praline. That toasted the toasted pecans in that praline. I get I get cinnamon. Is there cinnamon? They didn't mention cinnamon in this, but I'm going to assume that that's part of the spiced white cake. There's a little bit of creaminess from that cake. Mmm. And there's a little bit of woodsiness to it, but not too much. Not too much. Okay, this is nice. And that's what it looks like. It's a little smudged in the bag, but that's okay. That's really nice though. Okay, so next we have blueberry dump cake. And this is fresh blueberries, crispy cake topping, hints of warm spice and vanilla. I am not a huge blueberry person, so while this is a bakery scent that would normally just work its way into my heart, I decided to stick with a souffle because me and blueberry don't always get along. Okay, and I definitely get the blueberry the most, but it's a pretty blueberry. It's one that I, I could do in a souffle. Mm. Warm spice and vanilla. I get the warm spice and the vanilla. I don't know if I necessarily get like a dump cake note, but there is like a sweetness and a creaminess, and so I'm going to assume that's probably what that is. This is pretty though. I feel like this would be pretty for any time of the year. Okay, next we have bakery and lists. And so this is brown sugar, caramel, powdered sugar, bakery dough, sugared musk, and bottom notes of sweet woods. And this was poured on the 26th of October. So definitely pretty freshly poured. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, uh oh, sorry, I feel like something flew in my eyes. So I get the sweet, um, the sweet bakery dough, right? I, I get that, like I can smell it the most with some like powdered sugar, maybe brown sugar in there. Mm, but it's so beautiful. I get hints of that caramel. Sugared musk, bottom notes of sweet woods. And there is probably like a hint of woodsiness in this. That's what it looks like. It's really pretty. And again, this is pretty strong to say it was only poured on the 26th. Okay, next we have the infamous Christmas trees and cream. Now I am not a tree girl. I don't like balsam fir. I don't care if my house smells like trees. I don't have real trees in my home. I'm just not interested in my house smelling like a forest. <laughs> ever <laughs> even during Christmas however so many people including um who was it that raved about it when uh Martha from Martha's Fragrance Corner had her live about the Teddy Bees pre-order several people raved about this scent and say even if you don't like Christmas trees and cream you would love this scent Candice um also from I think Scents with uh CP she also mentioned loving the scent but she loves tree scents so the scent notes are fresh pine, vanilla waffle cone, and rich buttercream. This is poured on the 8th, y'all. I'm nervous, but we gonna see, okay? Okay. 
Okay, this is probably the prettiest, um, the prettiest tree scent I have ever smelled. So you definitely smell the tree, but that vanilla waffle cone and that rich, rich buttercream help to make it, dare I say it, more bearable <laughs> and enjoyable. It's really pretty. And I gotta say, like the, the glitter that she used in this is everything. Look how, let me see, look how absolutely beautiful that is. Isn't that pretty? Hmm. That's a pretty tree scent. So I'm glad I picked up a souffle. I might save this one for next year to warm at Christmas, but it's really pretty. Next, we got Fall Into Christmas. This is vanilla pumpkin, buttered rum, eggnog, and butter cookies. Mm. I'm really sitting here wondering why I didn't get that in the tub. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's good. I get that eggnog first and foremost. Oh yeah, I get that eggnog, I get some vanilla. And yeah, I can smell some of that pumpkin. And a little bit of creaminess from those butter cookies. Mmm, that smells really good. Really, really, really good. Look at that, let's see. Come on, look how pretty that is. Mm, okay, I really like that. I really, really like that. I'm glad I picked up a souffle. Okay. Next, and the last souffle is Twisted Toasted Marshmallow Cookies. This is sugar cookie dough, toasted marshmallow, spiced caramel, and birthday cake. Twisted Toasted Marshmallow. I don't know why, like, I read this and I was thinking peppermint. And I was like, there are no peppermint notes. That's because it didn't say anything about, <laughs> about peppermint. All right, let's see. Oh. Okay. Mmm. I can smell the marshmallow for sure. It's a good marshmallow though, because I don't always love marshmallow. It smells really good. Mmm. I get the cookie dough, that sugar cookie dough. I get a little bit of the hints of the caramel. Mm. What else is supposed to be in this? Birthday cake. I think there's a little creaminess from the birthday cake. This is pretty. This is really nice. Okay. And that's what that one looks like up close. Come on camera. And so those are all the souffles. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Almost dropped this bad boy on the floor. <sighs> all right. And we're gonna move those back there just so we will have more table space. All right, so now we're gonna get into these tubs. The first tub, this is the only item that arrived a bit damaged, the top crack, that's okay. I will just put it in a, um, a bag, <laughs> one of my polypropylene bags and it's okay. And this is Cozy Cookie Cake, which is warm iced white cake, beach treats, marshmallow fireside, and signature sugar cookie. Oh, and this smells really good. Mm, this to me smells like beach nights. Um, and cookies. It's really, really pretty. I'm trying to, I was trying to see if it's gonna pop out easily. Is it? Uh, it's acting like it wants to, but, oh, there we go. There we go. Mm, I get more of the cookies on the bottom. That smells fantastic. Mm, really, really pretty. Glad I got that. Okay, and this was poured on the third so this is fairly new i dropped the little piece that broke whatever next we have uh oh what is that that fell oh a little piece of the wax i was like what is this falling on me <laughs> okay next we have witches be crazy for eggnog as i just said earlier i love witches be crazy so just about anything that it's blended with i'm excited and this is birthday cake pecan waffle sugar cookie dough a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla blended with vanilla eggnog and buttered rum eggnog which is why I had to get a tub of this. Mm. I, I sniffed so long before I said anything because like bam, the first thing that hit me was those pecan waffles and then that, um, I got some of that sugar cookie, sugar cookie, I'm sorry. Yeah, sugar cookie dough. I smell a little bit of that cinnamon as well. And then like I had to wait a second before I could see if I could smell the eggnog but it's there and it's good. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, let's see. Mm. 
and this is really nice. And this was only poured on the 30th. I feel like this one's gonna be a powerhouse because it's strong already. Next, I got gingerbread ice cream cake. This is sweet buttercream layer between warm white cake and vanilla ice cream topped with loads of gingerbread crumbs. Ooh. Oh, this is good. So this gingerbread is not too, too spicy. So for those who are leery of gingerbread because they say it's super spicy, this is not that. It's a very toned down in the spice. I mean, it's there. You don't have to wonder if it's there, but it smells good. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's creamy. That's probably that sweet buttercream that's in there. Mmm, with that white cake and that vanilla ice cream. This is a beautiful blend. And look how pretty that is in the tub. Look at that. Look at that. It's really nice. I really, really like that. I'm glad I secured the tub. Okay, next one. Peppermint cookies and cashmere. This is peppermint sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. As I've said, I am on the hunt for anything that reminds me of Bath and Body Works peppermint sugar cookie. I'm not a peppermint girl, but that scent in particular I love. So I got this with that in mind. Let's see if it's any, anywhere similar. Oh, this is a pretty peppermint scent. <laughs> Mm, so I get the peppermint, but I get almost like that. And that's probably that cashmere cream. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm. There's a little bit of creaminess from like the sugar cookie dough. Mm. But I mainly get like peppermint and cashmere cream. There's a little bit of maybe like a tiny hint of like woodsiness. That's probably that vanilla birch, a scent note I'm not um, familiar with. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. And as I said, I'm not a peppermint girl, but man, that is nice. <laughs> that is really nice. Okay, next we got Catacomb of the Witch. This is dark plums, rich vanilla, black amber, bonfire bliss, and vanilla woods. This one was poured on the 29th of September. So it's definitely um, a lot more cured than most of my scents that I've got. Okay. Let me see here. This is pretty. Like this is like a pretty grown woman scent. It's almost kind of perfumey. Like I get that dark plum and amber. That amber may be what's making it smell a little perfumey. There's a little bit of smokiness from that Bonfire Bliss. In the vanilla woods but this is pretty this is really pretty like i don't know if like after smelling it if i would have necessarily gone with a tub of this i probably could have just gotten a souffle but this is one that i definitely think i will enjoy oh look and it wants to pop out right on out yeah it's really pretty really really pretty that's like a pretty fall winter scent but you could probably also get away with this in the spring if you really wanted to Next, we have Witches Be Crazy for pistachio. This is, again, that Witches Be Crazy blend. Birthday cake, pecan waffle, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon, spice vanilla, and is blended with pistachio ice cream and notes of pistachio. I love the Witches Be Crazy blend, and I love pistachio. Oh, this is good. This is good. To me, this smells like pumpkin pecan waffles with pistachio, <laughs> and I love it. Mm, this is like a bougie version of the Bath and Body Works pumpkin pecan waffles with pistachio on top. Oh, this is really good. Okay, last tub. This is, okay, I was like, why did I get this? Now I see why I'm looking at the notes. <laughs> Sugar spice and fireside. The smell of snickerdoodles and oatmeal cookies baking in a wood fire oven. And this was poured on the 28th. Oh, this top. It's a little cracked as well. Everything was well packaged though. I mean, you can't help what happens when UPS tosses <laughs> packages like they're, I don't know, rocks. Hmm. Hmm. 
I keep smelling this because I don't really get snickerdoodles or oatmeal cookies. I get like a pretty woodsy, smoky, like kind of fiery scent. I'm gonna see. I was gonna see if this one is interested in popping out. But this one seems kind of stuck. But I don't necessarily get any cookie notes out of this. Just mainly that, I guess, wood fire, smoky, kind of woodsy note. It's pretty. I just don't get any cookies out of it. Now, this was just poured on the 28th of October, which means it's very fresh. <laughs> so some of those notes may come out as it continues. And that could just be the scent that I'm getting from the top. But like I said, this one was not really interested in popping out. I was trying to see if I could get it, but that one I may have to pop in the freezer for a couple of seconds. No big deal. So overall, I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy. Um, and I'm trying to remember to pick out my favorite scents <laughs> because I think in the last video that I filmed, I forgot. So let me try to remember that. Okay. Um, next I got our last two things really I have two loaves I got a loaf in Surfside Sweet Shop and this is birthday cake marshmallow cream butter cookies cake batter and beach treats which is beach nights this was just poured on the 1st of November so it is super fresh um, so many people raved about this so many and so I thought why not get a loaf in it oh that is really nice mmm wow that is really, really nice. That's one I feel like when you warm it. So <laughs> I get the beach nights, but I get that birthday cake and the, the marshmallow cream and butter cookies and cake batter. I get that the most and it's like with the beach nights in the background, but they're still both there and it's really, this is really strong and really pretty. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. I'm so glad I got a loaf of that. <laughs> I am so glad I got a loaf of that. Next, we have Tiff, Tiff's Favorite Bakery. This is blackberry jam, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar, and waffle cone. I love blackberry in wax. I love the scent. I love it in desserts too, <laughs> in bakery. And so I thought this was another great one to get a loaf in. Oh, it's pretty. It's really nice. This one was poured on the um, 29th of September. And look how pretty. Let me just show you what that looks like. And I forgot to show you Surfside Sweet Shop. But that is beautiful. Mm. It's a really pretty, really, really pretty scent. So, okay. Now, we got to talk about... Oh, we got to talk about what my favorites are. My camera cut off, so I'm back with my favorites. I picked them out of everything that I ordered and I love everything. However, my favorites came in the form of tubs and loaves, which meant I picked scents correctly and got larger sizes of scents that I would love. The first scent that I love is this Witches Be Crazy for pistachio. I love the Witches Be Crazy blend anyway, but like I said with pistachio, chef's kiss. Next up, which I'm a bit surprised by because it doesn't smell the way I thought it would, but it's still beautiful. Ooh, Lord, I dropped the top. This peppermint cookies and cashmere is beautiful. Beautiful. And I love it. And lastly, um, in the tubs, this cozy cookie cake. Mm, Uh-oh. Look, I didn't drop wax. <laughs> I forgot that a little piece of it uh, broke. Yeah. It just, it smells really good. However... I love Surfside Sweet Shop even more. It's so good, y'all. It is so good. Mm, mm, mm. That is a banging blend. <laughs> so those are my favorites out of everything that I got. I am ever so curious. Did you pick up any of these scents? If you did, how do you feel about them? Um, and if you picked up other scents, please tell me like, what are your favorites? I am so, so very curious. If you like this video, I would um, 
totally appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed and would like to see more content like this, I would so love if you would subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.